morning people and happy vlogmas day four day four <laughs> i am in desperate need of some coffee and i am headed to go pick up my friend christy who is also a youtuber i'll introduce her in a second and we are going to starbucks but this isn't just a regular starbucks run this is a special vlogmas starbucks run we're going to be trying every one of starbucks's holiday drinks so you guys don't have to it is going to be a sugar high and a half, and I am so ready for it. Here she is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. Here we go. <laughs> Eggnog, peppermint mocha, caramel brulee. I don't know, know whipped cream on any of them? Yeah, 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 whipped cream and the sprinkles and like make it really pretty. Caramel brulee, chestnut praline, eggnog, peppermint. Is this toasted white? Chasing everywhere. You know, block yeah. doing block this. Okay. Do you know what block this is? Yeah. I like the, yeah. the cheer that you're bringing already. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Starbucks acquired. Christy is holding them steady for us because we got to drive now. <laughs> Look at how pretty they are. Oh, I'm so excited to try them all. Are you pumped? Okay, here's our spread, guys. We are gonna try all the yummy holiday beverages from Starbucks so that you don't have to. <laughs> this is Christy. Christy has her own YouTube channel. So I'm Christy, I'm the Nomad Next Door on Instagram, and yeah, we actually met back in high school. Yeah. My ex-boyfriend and her boy, her brother were like best friends and so I quit my job about two and a half years ago and basically became a nomad, just started traveling around the world. Kinda did the same at the same time <laughs> and so every time we're back in Encinitas, we try to meet up and last time I think we met up in Budapest, Hungary. So on Instagram, I am at The Nomad Next Door. YouTube, also The Nomad Next Door. She um, never posts on YouTube. Yeah. We, got, we gotta change this. We gotta get her on sporadic. YouTube, guys. Show her I some love. I start a vlogmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I also own a shop with all items handmade from Bali. It's called at shop nomad next door on Instagram. And if you guys want to get some jewelry or handbags, all handmade by artisans in Bali, check it out. So this is the Lovina bag. I still have my passport in here because hashtag just, travels. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> travel. Each bag is handmade in Bali. They take about a month to make. They're all made by artisans and yeah, this is one of our newest ones. Go check it out. I think this is your laptop bag. Right? This is my laptop bag slash carry whatever isn't gonna fit in here bag. I'm obsessed with her backpack. That one's my favorite. Oh, yeah. And so I will insert a picture right here That's... or something. It's, yeah, go buy her stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna link everything down below so you can go stalk her and convince her to get back on YouTube. But let's try some drinks. So I'm wanting to try, I already had a little sip of it, but this is an iced chestnut latte. And it's got like little crumbles, it looks like sugar. Looks like brown sugar maybe? Maybe, maybe nuts too. Gingerbread? It, or what, well, is it it's hazelnut? Ch it's chestnut. Okay, it's maybe chestnuts on it. Although I don't know if where has chestnuts around here. Or what chestnuts <laughs> even look like. I've never seen chestnuts in San Diego before. So it's really good. Oh yeah, that one is good. It's not too sweet, right? Mm -hmm. And the girl was so great, so helpful. Like, all of these different holiday drinks can come in frappuccino form, iced coffee form, or hot, so we mixed it up so that we had a couple different things to look at. This is the one that my mom wants to claim. It is the peppermint mocha frappuccino. I think this is their go-to holiday drink. It's been around forever. Um, I don't know if I've ever had it. Have you ever had more? I don't think I've had any of the holiday drinks <laughs> before, to be honest. Oh, there's peppermint. It like took a while. It tasted just like chocolate at first and then the peppermint kind of came after. Ooh, yeah. See, it's like kind of delayed. Yeah, it's kind of like a York peppermint patty or something. Mm -hmm. just toasted white chocolate mocha. Okay, so that I have a feeling that'll taste like maybe sweeter. Yeah, white chocolate's always kind of sweet. And this one's got cute little red sprinkles. I love that they all have different colored toppings. So this one's got the red sprinkles, the gold, situation and then the chocolate crumbles. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, 
tastes like really sweet and it almost tastes milky. Mm -hmm. I but guess I mean, it's, it's a latte. <laughs> I want to try the eggnog one and Christy's not going to have any because they could not make this with almond milk because um, it's made with eggnog and I I don't know. You probably don't have well, almond is, milk. Is eggnog almond milk? not, is eggnog not a milk? Or is it eggs with milk? it's made or? with like whole milk. It smells like eggnog. I'm excited to try it though. I don't. <laughs> not anymore. No. I really like having eggnog with fireball. I don't know if you've ever done that. No. I guess not because you don't know. eat eggnog or drink eggnog, eat eggnog. So I, for the last like five years, have made this drink every holiday party I've gone to called Fire Nog, and it's literally just fireball and eggnog. It's so good and very, very dangerous because you don't taste any alcohol. You just taste mm. the cinnamon from the fireball and then the eggnog, and you can have like three of them and be on your ass. <laughs> but it's really good. So I always make it and my friends get really messed up and it's really fun to watch. Yeah, I don't like this. It takes another sip. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It, it's kind of growing on me and I also just really need some coffee. Last one. This is the cutest cup too. I. Or did you not try that one? Oh, I did. I'm just having <laughs> So Starbucks is kind of famous for their holiday cups. Mm -hmm. And normally they just do one. And last was it last year or the year before they just did the solid red cups and everyone freaked out. They're like, this is so uninteresting. And mm. the idea was they were giving us blank red cups and a white pen and you could like draw your own designs because oh. everyone got so mad about the designs. But everyone got really mad about the red cup too. So this year they just did a bunch of different designs. We only got two of them. But oh, yeah. I really like this one. I think it's really cute. It's like a candy cane stripe with the green Starbucks all over it. That Mary one's coffee. cute. Merry coffee. Yeah. Cute. This is a the caramel brulee latte again with almond milk. Another really sweet one. Yeah, that's a super sweet one. <laughs> I kind of wish we just got like one normal like black coffee, mm -hmm. just something to like wash it Cold all down brew. with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have coffee. I made. I can make regular coffee. Like, I just want to eat the whipped cream. So we we tried all the Starbucks beverages for the holidays. You know what's really sad is they did not bring the gingerbread latte back this year. At least not in the U.S. I think it's available in Japan, in Canada, and I've UK. I've never had it before. It's really good. It's it, I mean, it's gingerbread, so it smells kind of like cinnamony, and, mm -hmm. but it's not really sweet. If you didn't bring it back this year, otherwise it would be here with everything else. But this was our selection for the year, minus the peppermint mocha, which is now gone because my mom took it. <laughs> um, I think overall it was really sugary and really sweet, mm -hmm. and I wasn't a huge fan of any of them. Mm -hmm. I like the topping on the chestnut latte. Um, the eggnog just, latte. Like brown sugar. Yeah, I mean, how do you chestnuts. how do you not like? I don't even think. I'm pretty sure it's just crunchy sugar. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not mad about it, but I think they need to incorporate like a like just like a, a basic americano, mm -hmm. but with like some a cold brew or yeah, something. cold brew or something, yeah. but with a Christmassy flavor to it without being incredibly high in sugar. Yeah. All right. Well. That is it. We tried all the things. Um, you guys got to meet Christy. I'm really excited about that because we've known each other a lot longer than I realized. Like it's been like, like 15, like 15 years. years. Yeah, I was like, I've known Christy yeah. a couple years, but we really didn't get super close until we both started traveling it's like a year ago. So yeah. we started seeing each other like once. Yeah, it's like, wait, you're in Budapest? I'm yeah. in Budapest. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that she's here and she wanted to come film with yeah. me. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go drink a bunch of Starbucks if you want to come. Um, so that was fun. So go check out her store. I'm going to link it below and follow her on her Instagram and her YouTube. Again, everything is going to be down there. She is the nomad next door and I am chasing everywhere. So combined, we are just a bunch of girls running around the world. We did it. Yay. Oh, I scared the dog. <laughs> okay. So we're making our own coffee now because the Starbucks coffee was too sweet. We're going to do a little French press action. So we made some coffee and now we're going to pour one handed is impossible. We are gonna pour these into our regular coffee because now we're gonna use them as like a sugar creamer. The caramel brulee latte. Do you want nog in yours? 
Yeah, why not? Okay. So much better. <laughs> it's like it's a little full. It's all good. Cream. Oh, gross. Ew. Oh, my new shoes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so much better. Way better. Okay, yeah. so that's the trick, guys. Spend five dollars on a latte and, and pour. Feed five, everyone in your office with it. <laughs> just, just buy one and so use it as a creamer. <laughs> Cream them up. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Okay, that's it. We're actually gonna sign off now. We're done. We're gonna have our coffee and just chill and talk and catch up because I haven't seen her in since Budapest, so like a year. I think so. Yeah. All right, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>